I love when older black women give me advice. Mm. For whatever reason, it resonates better. I'm certain that's racist. But I, for whatever reason, when an older black woman says something to me, it holds more weight. I oh. think it's the timing, the their pace from, of the way From now on, I'm going to get some friends of mine to talk to you instead of me because I can't get you to do shit. 100%. <laughs> I could run my business so fucking easy if I just show like this is the way I live my life, Drew. Yeah. I live my life like what would I want? Yeah. But, yeah. Which is fucked up when you have semi addict behavior. Semi. Semi. <laughs> semi. You, you have anxiety disorder. Keep going. Bro, it is so bad. Wait, so finish your thought. I want to you also have ADD. It's like it's like all these people that go, um, I think everything goes through Apple Pay. Yeah, yeah. Apple Pay. I can, let me tell you something. If you got a product, send it my way. If you have Apple Pay, I'll buy it just it, off impulse. Right. By the way, I should just market to addicts because I double click. You know, I bought three axes for well, my daughter. Finish, finish your I one. I just bought four rose gold I ones. <laughs> so. Go to drdo.com backslash I one. They're fucking amazing. I just hose down the whole thing with yeah. the ultra yeah. They're fu but yeah, but like I, I have every what's it don't called? let it get in your eye though it's bad for the eye bad for the eye bad for the skin that's all it's just it's really what, good for surfaces what's the thing when they put things right by the register impulse buys yeah yeah bro i'm an impulse buyer yeah like that's they i should four have, hour energy drinks you're doing those all the time yeah <laughs> i have bought so many oh hey guys new two bears one cave <laughs> our guest host hey dr drew glad to be dr. here dr drew considering that i'm the healthiest member of your mom's house yeah i was gonna say what, studios, what do you think why am i here because no, everyone's dead. <laughs> can you believe that? Yeah, I, you know what it is? You know can what it I is? believe that? I was the first thing I said, what the fuck were Bert and uh, Tom up to? Oh, it's man, that poor guy. He said to me last night on the phone, dejected, coming off pain pills, oh. going, through, going through a real dark time. So he, he's like, it really fucked me up. Not to relive this moment and beat a dead horse, but it fucked me up because it happened like that. Yeah. We were just fucking around yeah. we were just playing basketball yeah. we were having fun we were giggling no, and then it, all of a sudden like legit tragedy struck like that and the idea that oh, this life is the worst possible thing for somebody like you oh you, you already are anticipating catastrophes at every moment at every moment and i didn't oh, see this no. one coming and i heard it oh, and i saw no. it oh no and i it fucked me up uh -oh. so bad mm -mm. i mean literally i i've been uh, and i've i stayed away from booze this month because of it because what happened was the second it happened i went home and i'd already said i'm not gonna drink in december until the live show and i go home and i call push and realize love you push but realize she is not at capacity to deal with this like she is not she, well no one was dealing in reality at that moment no one was dealing yeah. in reality because she calls me and says she wants to put him in a hotel and get a nurse i'm like go to the hospital yeah and well he was at the hospital he signed himself out and so, so he made it to the orthopedist, and the orthopedist said, "Go to the go to the, hospital. go to the fucking hospital." And so, <laughs> Woo. you know, people would just die back in the day with those kinds of injuries. Oh, you know, I mean, oh yeah, oh if this if, if this, this was nineteen seventy five, I think he would be not, dead. Not nineteen seventy five, but uh, eighteen ninety, he definitely would be nineteen sixty. He's dead, possibly. Yeah, nineteen sixty, and he's a gimp for the rest of his life. Oh, for sure. Oh, he's like got a wooden crutch, and he's <laughs> so, I, today's no, paper. No, he's gonna today's be today's paper. He's gonna be on a, one of those. A plywood wheels, plywood boards with wheels oh. under it, pushing himself. Yeah, along. yeah, yeah, rolling on his knees. <laughs> right. I'm already setting the bar low for his fans when he goes back on tour uh -oh. in fall 2021. Uh -oh. I think that's when we'll all be allowed to go fucking tour again. Yeah, he does. He will have a baby hand, like a little, <laughs> like a little. Oh, but he'll no. put it in his act, no, and he was wait, like, and then, wait and then minute. Ellis what, was like, grab something. What have, what have they told him about his rehab? I don't know. I really don't. know. I'm joking, and I don't uh, know. But right. a guy did say, did say, I have so much. I have so much I, I I hide secrets in my head hoping they never come true because I overthink things. What? And you I overthink, overthink things? things. You're kidding. Yeah. So like hypothetically say, mm -hmm. let's say someone broke their humerus in half. Yeah. And Which then is, hypothetically say their best friend saw that it was spun 700 degrees and then retwisted it back so it was normal. Would that affect someone's hand for the rest of their lives? You tried to set the bone in the field? I wouldn't say set it. I just made it so that we weren't all going to throw up. So his arm was like backwards like uh -uh, this. Uh -uh. This it under was, like this. It was, what's it called? The, it was it was a uh, a Cleveland baseball team burn. Right. 
but but, so, it, but he almost he broke it enough that it almost broke through the skin. It was called a compound fracture. It was a, okay, it was, it was a close compound to, fracture. It was close in, to compound inside the arm. Yeah, but his arm was so that. Imagine if he was like, what time is it? And he was like, let's spin my wrist 360 degrees and we'll see now. And he spun it and then he was like, that's not enough. One more time and yeah. spun it again. Yeah. So, and you spun and then, it back? Well, I, the video is going to come out. I'm sure someone shot the video. You spun it back? Very quickly and very like delicately. I just went, ooh, we don't want that like that. And I turned it around. That's okay. You, okay. you, you might have actually helped because oh my god i've had so much panic that i've turned tom into a baby hand <laughs> you have no idea well, it has been the biggest fear i keep okay, going so okay. your so, hand so, to it, buddy. so 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 here's what what the uh, the problem is then when it's all twisted like that you can cut off the blood supply and you can damage the nerve right now you restored the blood supply by sending it back that's you know? what i was thinking i was like but you, first thing you, I gotta do. you did put the nerve at risk possibly but i that's what, i figured that but i doubt i doubt you're really that's what he said because i kept saying he'd leave the room to can, go get an x-ray and i go Hey man, just out of curiosity. And the guy's like, huh, I, I'm, I'm just cleaning up next door. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but you've been here a while and I'm not a doctor. And he goes, I'm not a doctor either. I was like, just out of curiosity, say my buddy's arm. <laughs> I asked everyone. I asked every. I asked can he move his fingers and stuff? Yeah, he can move his fingers, but he couldn't the day of. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he couldn't the day but, of. But who I knows was, what's going on there? But I was but panicking. He, but he can, he can do all these things and he can feel his hands and stuff, right? Let's give him a call and find out. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm sure. It's you know good. what? Let's not even do it because if he has. Okay, but no, we should know. We the, should know, and I can help. Uh, I can help because process guy, it for you. The guy. The guy told me they go to take Tom for an X-ray, and the guy goes, uh, "Man, he's gonna have a gimp hand." And oh. I go, "What?" And he goes, "Is he right-handed or left-handed?" I said, "It's complicated." He throws a baseball right-handed, but he writes left-handed. And he goes, "Is he a pitcher?" And I said, "No." And he goes, "Oh, then he's fucked." And I was like, "What Who do you said mean?" This? It was this fucking guy cleaning up. <laughs> and I put all my eggs in his <laughs> basket. All right, let's get Tom. Get him on the phone. Just really casually, we'll just don't like you go, you leave. Guys, I think he said, "Can you please spin my arm back around?" But I may have written that in my head to make myself feel better about it. You added that. I I don't know. You, you, we will added... have video. We will have video New Year's Eve on our live show. YMH Studios dot live net dot YMH Studios dot com slash live stream. Did, did Does, they hear you? Did you finish your order, by the way? What order? No, I haven't finished my okay. order. Did did um does Tom know how upset you are about all this? No, he doesn't. Oh, I okay. I haven't told him. Okay, okay. It's been my... Hello? Hey, buddy. Hey. We're doing a live show. Hey, how's your hand doing? Uh, what do you mean? Like, how's the like, fingers moving okay? Um, somewhat. I mean, not entirely, you know? Okay. I have, uh... But that's to be expected, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a bruised radial nerve, so it'll take a while. Okay, good, and good, good, good. Back on. Good. I can't give you the thumbs up. Well, that's okay. Can you can you do this? Can you make the okay symbol that the yep. racists make? Right. Yeah, which hand are we gonna do it with both? <laughs> <laughs> and can he can he put the pinky and the thumb can together? Can you put the pinky and the thumb together? Um well I have this glove on right now, so uh, I can okay. do anything okay. with this glove. Okay. 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 Well you know what? It'll be back for New Year's Eve. So you no, can no, go it won't, it, it won't be back by then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, good. I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, load off my shoulders. Bert's worrying about you. I'm just worrying about you. Yeah, no. It, it'll come back with time. Okay, good, good, good. And if not, we'll both go to rehab. Hey, do you remember? Can I tell you? Can I tell you the, um, hey, what are the odds Mulaney went to rehab before me, right? Isn't that crazy? Fuck. I want to take him out partying one night to show him how it's done. I don't think he. he I, no, I think he's a closet. Like, really, yeah, like oh, one of those. Fuck. He's probably one of those hardcore. Can like, I tell you? I wish I had a, re, a reality show called Just Before Rehab. And people hit me up and they're like, man, I'm going to rehab tomorrow. Can we have one night where we blow it out of the water? And I'm like, that's what I'm here they for. They all do that. I think at the end of that show, though, they'd be like, hey, Bert, you should probably really go. <laughs> yeah, you go before <laughs> me. Hey, well, uh, take my bed. Oh, do you, can I tell you something ironic? Do you remember yeah. when I said, what if we did a challenge this year? And we saw how big we can get one arm and how small we can get the other arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm winning that challenge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drew and I are really humming. We're eight minutes and 35 seconds oh. in. Okay, cool, man. All right, bye. All right, Tom. Um, All right, so so no one told him that's a, a lacerated nerve. It's not or, a lacerated or, nerve. Or, yeah, we, or, he actually told me that. But he said there was bru there was a bruise. He told me that so there was It's really probably stretched. Yeah. And, and, and the stretching is worse when it's all out of position like that so again you might have helped things that's all that matters you might have helped things so bert restored blood supply and maybe got the nerve back in position quicker now it was risky because you could have made it worse could have hit another bone and t torn it who knows what I, I i was pretty attentive when i did it I, i'm i i don't know how much 
setting of bones you've done. You will see. You will see. I'm certain there's video of me spinning his arm around because I, I looked at it and I was like, that That's... doesn't look right. And I was like, I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, so bad. Here's, can I, so, so that happens yeah. and I have fucking severe panic attacks. Like. As a result. As a result. With PTSD. Yeah. yeah. There's stuff I can't talk about in life that I can't talk about in like even to anyone that have is Why? It healthy. Why? Um, I because I promised, like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't wait. 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 I could talk to my therapist about it, but like things that. Why that, not? I can't. The the I, because I don't know. It's a long story. Okay, but it's a huge mistake to withhold stuff from your therapist. They, they can't only do so much if you're holding. Oh, is it bad to lie to them? Bad. But but I don't understand what it how is. about how about misinterpret his information so it fits your agenda and then you feed that agenda to your family because I've been doing that also <laughs> I've been doing like I mean, using what the therapist says against your family like like I'll take what he says and then I'll go my yeah, wife does that I kind of heard that but it fits better if I say it this way yeah yeah and then you use that with against your family yeah and I, and then yeah don't do that like like uh so anyway anyway let's go back to this wait. Hold on, hold on one second. I'm going to forget my thought. All right. I'm, I'm going to remember my thought. All right. Okay. Oh, I got my thought. All right. Go okay. Ahead. Go. So Before I go. Leaves you. I go full panic mode. And I, and I talked to Push and I said, I fucking just want to drink. This is the night of. I just want to drink. And I know that's not healthy. And she goes, Bert, have a beer. Relax. Have a, come over and have a glass of wine with me. And then we'll help get Tom into the bed. And, and my, But here's what's different about my brain is my brain goes, that's not when we drink, big guy. Like, I know that the impulse to tap out and get the fuck away from reality is there, mm. but you're not allowed. My brain goes, that's, we're not allowed to do that. And then my brain's like, and we're not allowed to do that for a while because we know where we are and we know that this is, it's like working out. It's like getting on the treadmill and hating running and going, but yeah, but I still have to do this for yes. 30 more minutes. Yes, you, ha you have, that's your frontal lobes functioning. Yeah, yeah, you have functioning, still functioning frontal lobes. So I go, all right, so I go down, we help push, we help Tom. Yeah. I come home. Yeah. I, and again, it, it's an impulse. And by the way, that must have been horrible. He must have been in miserable pain and oh. should, should not have been home and all Fucking that. Fucking Leanne is such a cunt. She, <laughs> How dare you? She, I'm going to come to her. <laughs> you should have been there, Drew. Uh-oh. Tell me this isn't fucking straight up cunt move. Uh -uh. We get Tom, we carry Tom from his garage to his screening room. Who's we? Him. Me and Lindsay. Lindsay. Lindsay's a twink fucking film guy. I, I bought a lifting belt and everyone made fun of me. And then we're like, how are we getting there? And I go, oh, I bought a lifting belt. So I oh. put a lifting belt on top. Yeah. I lift it up. It's tough because his body doesn't have like definition. <laughs> so the belt just kept going up and up and up until it found enough fat to mushroom it. <laughs> and so that's a lie. But anyway, so I carry him into the screening room. I'm sweating. P every push has a glass of wine and a handful of fucking crepes. And she's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's, Lindsay's almost passed out from overexertion. Leanne's watching this. We get Tom. Tom's in so much fucking pain. Yeah, I know. He's in so much. His arm is not connected at the time. No, I know. And it's not even, and they, and they didn't splint it right. They put the wrong splint on it. I'm sure. There's no right splinting or something like that, by the way. And so we lay him on the bed and everyone takes a moment to assess. And Tom is almost tears in his eyes. Like, oh. like what the fuck? This was supposed to be a fun event. Me and meaning the, the original day. Everything. The day. We're yeah. not supposed to end up on this couch with four people standing around me, and it's silent, and Leanne just goes, well, this is going to suck for a long time. <laughs> and he looks at her, and he goes, what? And she goes, honey, this is going to be real bad for a, like a year. And, I, and we're like, hey, who the fuck? <laughs> what script are you reading from? This isn't a, like, this is, you don't need that. No one needs that. She goes, what? No one's saying it. I'm going to say it. <laughs> He's going to gain weight, too. You're going to gain a lot of weight. You what? Need, and Push is handing him fucking muffins with Nutella on him. <laughs> wow. I was and, like, and did she back off at no, all? No, that's the end. Oh, did she apologize? What, well, do you want me to lie? <laughs> you, you want me to lie? I see a gator in the water. I tell you, I see a gator in the water. She, she's more honest with you, I think. She fucking... I, I, I like her I, honesty. I like that. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't like her honesty at all. Oh, I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Leanne It's has not cunty. That, brutal it's, it's, honesty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not cuntiness. That's cunty. not cunty. It's no, cunty. no, no, no. It, it, it's, uh, it's, um, aggressive. It, it's, um, not empathic failure, right? She's not really appreciating what the impact of her words are. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cunty. Stop it. Oh, I have so much <laughs> I could share. 
the, the fr- I, the fr- I'll tell you the first I still time. want to know what you're we're not just, telling your therapist. Hang on. We're going to okay. get to this. Right. We're going to... I when I first went on a date with Leanne, I was in a play. I, we were dating for less than four months. I was in a play. Yeah, I, my first play. I'd never been in a play. I wanted, I'm not even a really great actor. Like what? I'm better now because I can. Because I, I used to think about acting. Now yeah. I just go. Oh, it's like a reality show. We just talk. Yeah, yeah. And so isn't that funny how reality has become the measure of acting? The fu- it is. Fu- <laughs> I'm such a good actor now. Like I said to Rosario Dawson, I'm not an actor, and she goes, "You just hosted an entire series where you read the words and you read everything." And I went, "Yeah." She goes, "Yeah." That's acting, honey. And I was like, no, it's not. It's just me it's hosting. being Bert. That's she hosting. Goes, she goes, yeah, but you're reading someone else's words and making it look like you're not reading anything. Yeah. That's called acting. And I went, oh, yeah. Um, so I'm in a play. I'm very proud of myself. Um, hilarious play. By the way, this this is the funniest. We wrote a play about four guys who moved to Cocoa Beach to watch cut- shuttle launches. <laughs> um, that's They're going to graduate college and just have shuttle launch parties. Oh, that's funny. And they do it during the time that NASA sh- kind of shuts down. And and they don't don't have any shuttle launches. Uh-uh. And then the first time they have a shuttle launch, they're all about to move out. And then they, finally, there's a shuttle launch. And the day they have a shuttle launch, they accidentally break in to go get close, and they cause an a, an explosion, and the <laughs> shuttle explodes. And Drew, Drew, the, our play premiered premiered the opening night was the day the shuttle exploded. Oh, the day I'm I. Wish I could call my friend, but he committed suicide. So what? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not because of the play, but just because because he was partying. I think. Oh. But it it the day the shuttle launch the Challenger. The, no, no, not Challenger. The other one, the the one that was coming in and the tiles oh, popped off. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. explodes. Our play comes out and we're like, what do we do? And we're like, well, I think you know the show must go on. And we're like, it's kind of bad taste oh. to do a play about the shuttle exploding the day the shuttle explodes. Anyway, we do the play. And no one shows up uh, except for a film critic, uh, the L.A. film critic. If you could find that, I wish I'd remember the name of the play. You know, this ought to be a new reality show where we actually go down to SpaceX and actually do this. I, you know, I got offered to go to space one time. Mm. By, and I was like, I got to take it, right? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you get the vaccine, you got to take it. You got to space, <laughs> yeah. you got to take it. All right, Roll the right. dice sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I get done the first opening night. I'm, I'm, I'm humming. I feel good. I'm not drinking at the time also, I don't think. And I get in the car, and I go, so what did you think? And she goes, uh, you sucked. <laughs> and I went, what? And she goes, you, n- you don't listen. Like, you uh-huh. just are, like, big and loud. And I'm like, hold on. I go, you just could have said, you were great. I don't need anything. You've been dating how long at this point? Uh, four months, maybe. Oh, my God. And I'm like, you, you could have just said, like, you did great. She goes, what, well, am, I, am I supposed to lie? <laughs> and I went, well, yeah, you, you know, you can just not hurt sure your feelings. Code. Yeah. <clears throat> what did she say to your kids now? How did Santa Claus? Uh, uh, we, how was that, that was uh, dealt with? Well, I, I think I actually talked about that on Push. So, what is it you want to get to? But there was something you wanted to get to, and I still want to know wanna, what you, why you couldn't. Well, say I want to play therapist. a game called "I'm going to give you my test results" because I just got a full blood panel, All and right. you tell me if I'm lying or if they're real. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, <coughs> um, Nadav. <clears throat> All right, so and then we'll, but we're talking about Santa Claus. All right. So I didn't tell the girls Santa was real, was fake until like Georgia was in eighth grade, okay. which is really late. And 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 Liam played all the way along. Oh yeah, she lied. Oh, we both lied. So she does lie about certain. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. Santa when, Claus. When, she when lied it works about, for. Her. Um. She, yeah, when it works for. Her. She's. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like because <laughs> she had a shitty childhood. Yeah. With her mom, that. She only knows to like, like my sister does something where she'll go, like she'll call you up and you're like, how you doing? She's like, dad's got coronavirus. And you're like, what? She's like, I'm just fucking with you. And you're like, hey, don't ever do that. Like, yeah, yeah. that's not fun. No one enjoys that. Yeah. How you doing? Oh, I, I have AIDS. What? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Like, you're like, that's not a joke. Like, there's no humor involved in that. Yes. So Le- I think because Leanne's childhood was rough, she appreciates hurting you. Like, like. Taking you down a notch, and and really? I don't think she even knows she's doing. She doesn't know she's doing it. She doesn't know she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, yeah. she said something one time. This that is was, the empathic failure part. But yeah, but the, now it's it's be, it's beneficial at times, because I do my special secret time. I do two tapings on one night, and because of this, I changed it. and I ended up doing four tapings. But I did two tapings, and I said to Leanne, I gave her a notepad, and I go, "Hey, because I know she'll be." That's the one good thing is I know she never lies to me. Yeah. So I go, here's a pad. Write down anytime I flub a line, write it down so I can pick it up in the second show. Yeah, yeah. She's like, okay. So I go and I have a really bad first show. Anyone with this Philly was in the truck show for the first taping knows I actually kind of bombed. Yeah. I kind of bombed. I was all over the map. And I go to the green room and everyone in Hollywood's like, 
everyone is like, so we got it. We got a good one. It's like, it's 90%. Dude, we got a, a few pickups, and I know I bombed. My buddy Tony Hernandez, who's producing it, he knows. I've grown up with Tony. Yeah. He knows I bombed. And he's not telling He's you. not saying anything, yeah. but he's like, he's like, he's like, we, we're on our way. He's like, he's trying to think of fixes, but he's yeah, not yeah. coming up with it yeah. yet. And then Leanne walks in the green room. Mm-hmm. I go, what do you think? She goes, well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> that sucked. And everyone's like, hey, Leanne, we're... And she's like, no, you better have a good show next show. Because, <sighs> honey, you did not get it. Like, And then she shows me her paper. She goes, I mean, this thing's full of fucking mistakes. <laughs> and I'm like, I got it, Leanne. <laughs> and then my buddy Tony was like... I, I, I have the same thing with one where I find myself saying... Do you understand how talent's supposed to be managed? <laughs> you, yeah, you 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 gotta manage talent. You don't just you don't just bully us. I said to her, I said, you know, I, I there there are mean things I could say to you, like I could go, like she's I would never say. See, I would never say it because I don't even think it. Like she took a writing class at UCLA. Yeah. Over the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, and I a, a a per if it was flipped around, she would go. Well, what the fuck are you going to college for? You. You dropped out. You ain't going to be a writer. And I would never say that because I go, I think You she's, encourage her. Yeah. I, yeah, I go, I want to see where this goes. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Her writing is fucking awesome. But if it was flipped around, I feel like she would have been like, you ain't going to school. You're already busy. Like, that's how she'd treat it. But I go look at it and I'm like, oh, do that. That'd be cool. I can't wait to read what you wrote. Like, why well, can't I be married to that sometimes? Where I, it's like, <laughs> it was like, oh, I can't like, wait to see what. So like, somebody, I have an, I had, positive. I had an idea. I had an idea that I'm going to, I think I'm going to end up selling as a TV show. Mm. And it was a fucking stupid idea. Yeah. Like, I've had a lot of stupid ideas. Yeah. Bad astronauts. Yeah. Stupid fucking idea. Well, secret time, Tom and I might make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had dumb ideas where I go, like, but, but I, I've told everyone this. You know, Yard Crashers, Bath Crashers, how, like, the TV show on DIY Network. I really don't. Yeah. It was, a, it was a series where they, if you're working on your yard, they 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 surprise you at, oh, at Home okay. Depot. Yeah. And they go, you're in the yard stuff. You're working on your yard, and they're like, yeah, our backyard's fucked. And they're like, how about we do it for you? And they're like, okay. And I pitched a show, instant. I mean, not even joking, to DIY Networks, the president, called Moat Crashers. Moat Crashers. Yeah. I was like, every man's house is his castle. Every castle needs yeah. a moat. You go to Home Depot, you find some guy in there. Yeah. You're like, hey man, you build a moat. And the guy's like. Uh, no and you're like do you want one and you know one asshole's like i'll take a fucking moat one, one and then asshole you build them i'll take them by the way i'll take a moat in a heartbeat right i, I have a friend that did him put a motor on his house Fuck yeah. I'll, I'll, it's we, the best you, line you have in the to talk, and he's a, and he's a contractor you got to talk to the guy and to go to his house and like do a little interview with him hey, if you do this show secret time i'm building a moat yeah <laughs> i'm building a moat and i'm spending through the fucking nose for it and i'm gonna just say it's a koi pond but it's gonna be a moat with a fucking bridge i can't fucking wait like, why wouldn't you want a goddamn moat? Like, a full drawbridge where you're like... Where you're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, let's get to the point of this conversation. Your labs? No, no. We'll do that. Should we do that now or should we... Get yeah, to the you point. know what? Let's. I'll lead into that. Okay. You ready? Okay. So, right. so, I have all this panic attack about time. Yeah, yeah. I, get a, I have a meeting with my cardiologist mm. that I've been dodging. Mm. Shout out to Rich Voss. Mm. I've been dodging this because I, I don't want it in my CT scan. I'm like, there, I know you it's see, gonna, your, your calcium scan. Yeah, where you do calcium like score. Yeah, yeah. Did I you go, get it? I, I got it. And? Oh, well, we're going to play the game in a second. Oh, uh, boy. So, um, so I don't want that because I, I know what's going to happen is I'm going to go in, I'm going to get my calcium score, and they're going to go, okay, it's not bad. It's a medium. Yeah, you're going like, to freak think, out. Yeah. So, what they say is under 400 is just lifestyle change. Over 400, they got I'm used to hearing percentages. Oh, yeah. So, you got to give me the scales. Okay, well, yeah. I, I know my percentage. Yeah. But, um, but they say, I, but that's what someone says to me, and they're like, anything over four hundred is they're going to go in and have to do a stint or do something. Right. They're, they're so, likely to have trouble. Yeah. So that's what I'm fucking. I'm terrified mm. that I'm going to go in, and then I'm like, I'm all I'm thinking is preventative. Mm. This is preventative. Yeah. This is good. I I love when older black women give me advice. Mm. For whatever reason, it resonates better. I'm certain that's racist, but I for whatever reason, when an older black woman says something to me, it holds more weight. I oh. think it's the timing, the their pace from, of the way From they now say on, I'm going to get some friends of mine to talk to you instead of me because I can't get you to do shit. Oh, I don't listen to white so, guys at all. So, all that privilege just so, reeks. Yeah. So okay. Older black woman. First time I get a a, a CT scan. Yeah. She, first time you've had multiple. I've had I've had one five years ago. Ah. Uh, I go. She sees it in my face. I. She goes, "What's wrong?" I said, "I don't want to be here." 
She's she got her paper, pen and paper. It was back when you could touch people and stuff. She puts it down. And she looks at me. She goes, honey, it is better. She goes, the fact that you walked through those doors means you won't be rolled through those doors. Ah. And she said, and no one wants to be rolled through those doors. Yeah. She goes, you just did something good for your family and yourself. And I went, ah. Oh. Now, I hear that, and it relaxes me. Mm. So I've just been playing her thing in my head yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah, sure. Let me pull up my test scores. All right. So I go in. I've been dodging it. Then Tom gets this. I've, I think I talked about it somewhere. Tom gets all his work done, and I just watched. I know he didn't have an option. His you orthopedic know, work. Yeah. Just all of it from like, just let's get, like the way he took charge in a, from a beta position, meaning like he was broken arm, broken knee, but the way he just said, let's, let's go, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's like, he went in and they were like, do you drink? And he said, no. And I, I knew he would, wasn't lying and I would have lied. Yeah. And he's like, do you smoke? And he goes, no. And they're like, okay, how much do you weigh? He's like 235. And I'm like, is that real? Like, <laughs> And then it, it grew a little bit. He's like 240. <laughs> but, I, but I was just like, the way he handled everything. You admired was, it. You admired I admired it. it and yeah. I said, I need to, I need to do that with your list. Yeah, good. So okay. I said. He, he just, he moved forward. He moved on with it. So I say to myself, I'm not going to push my CT scan. Yeah. Which I've been doing. I've been mm. just pushing it. Okay, you month. got it. And? Um, I'm gonna, let me pull it up. I got to go to my. CS link. Uh, log in. My password's herpes boy. <laughs> That's my go-to. I, I met a one girl and I said, I said, hey, what's your email? And she goes, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> and I went, what is it? And she goes, herpes gal thirty five. And I went, <laughs> I'm not gonna email you. <laughs> but I'm gonna switch all my passwords to herpes yeah. boy. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, comprehensive metabolic panel is the one we go right. to CMP. But first off. Okay, let's start with my CT scan. Okay. Now, full panic mode, yeah. don't want to be there. Right. Percentage-wise, yeah. my lifestyle, mm. where do you think I registered? 10 to 20 in that zone. 10 to 20. Yeah. What would you say if I said it was zero? I would believe it. Booyah, yeah. bitches. Yeah. Mickey Mantle yeah. gene. I was more shocked than my cardiologist. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me uh, point out to you that uh, alcoholics don't get heart disease. Nice. <laughs> Why? Um, we don't our really blood's know. So thin? It, it, they don't really know. It, it's uh, it, there's th theories about what it does to the metabolism and things. But if you notice, alcoholics they die of, don't have heart attacks. Yeah, not unless they smoke. Not unless they smoke. Yeah, it's so fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. so good. You have some protective effect there. So I it might be all the estrogen because you build up a bunch of estrogen when you're. When is you're that what's drinking. going on with my tits? Mm, that's what's going on with them. Because I, you know when I started doing dips and push-ups mm -hmm. because I was like my tits are look like a little femaley, little little uh, like there's a bud there. Huh? Yeah, like a yeah. little like. Well, some of it's just fat. I it's mean, to be, a lot to be of fair. it's fat. And then the other is alcohol. Alcohol will do that. So. So. We got okay. Keep going. So zero percent. So I'm. So all of a sudden, I'm like, I went from congratulations. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. That, yeah. That's actually highly predictive and very good. Okay. Really? Let's also just you, say good. We well, don't need I, to say highly like, predictive. Well, no. It's a. I, my question: Why do you have a cardiologist? Uh, because my parent, but my dad's dad and my mom's dad both died of strokes. My dad had blockage in his widowmaker, and the CT scan saved his life. Okay. And strokes have nothing to do with cardiology. Well, great. It can, it can if you have you know valvular disease or something. But all right. So, anyways, you're just okay. going to be because of family history. You're going to follow along. Okay. okay. So now, now the really important one that we want to judge. This what? is the one we always worry about: AST and ALT levels. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to read past these are the results. liver enzymes. You go, can you do, wait? Hang and on. and these days. One of the leading causes of a cirrhosis is actually not alcoholic liver disease, but fatty liver disease. Yeah. So. Uh, that's what he said, that people are getting cirrhosis that don't even drink. Fatty liver disease. Yeah. From weight excess. It's happening a lot these days. Um, I have had fatty liver in the past. And, okay. Keep but, going. Uh, well, we don't know whether that's weight or alcohol or he both. He thinks it's weight mm -hmm. because I've never had it before and I ballooned up to... Which I said my heaviest was 256. Yeah. And he was like, I, no, it's not. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he goes, you remember the one time you came in, you said, I just don't want to know anything? <laughs> and I went, yeah. He goes, you were 260. <laughs> I said, are you fucking serious? He goes, yeah. 
I was like, oh, I was 260. That was the last time I was in. And he was like, yeah. And I was really concerned because I could sell, tell on the sonogram that you had fatty liver. Oh. And he goes, and if your numbers didn't drop, we were, I wanted to go in and get, I wanted to get a full fucking scan of your liver and t- see a Now, are you going to tell we me how, how they got or uh, I, exactly I, I, part I of the past lie? Past results. Okay. Past results. Okay. ALT. Past results. My highest being. An 86. Not too bad. Okay. An AST? Yeah, ALT. AST? AST, when it was an 86, was... I just lost 86. Where the fuck did I see? Oh, the AST at that time was 63. All right. So these these are not directly correlated with seriousness of liver disease, right? They're yeah. just sort of a sign that we need to look further into your yeah. liver as much. If it were 500, 800,000... Well, now we got a problem that we're going to have to look, figure that out. Oh, it's interesting. But, but this is more like, hey, it's not normal liver function. What's going on there? He was like, that's what he said. He yeah. goes, he goes, that's, I'm concerned. Yeah. And he goes, uh, the, when this was the last time when yeah. I was 260. And he goes, he goes, you're, he actually said, he looked at me and he goes, you know how this ends, right? And I went, no. And he goes, not good. He goes, I got clients that you know that are big partiers. And he goes, it, it doesn't end well. He goes, you don't want to be on that side. And I went, I was like, who? And he goes, I can't tell you who. <laughs> so he goes, so he goes, listen, I'm gonna, like, I'll let you, I'll give you a year, but you gotta, you gotta try to get healthy. He's like, yeah. low carbs, avocados, coffee with no cream. Yeah, like this or is all the- you can actually use a little heavy cream if you want. Yeah, you can try that. But- well, I've been doing that because I can't yeah. fucking do black coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've been a black coffee guy my whole life, and for whatever reason, Leanne started putting cream in it. Now I yeah. can't. So, it so I, I suspect in your case, it's both the weight and the alcohol. It's I probably think so. Both. He said because when your weight goes up, you're drinking more yeah. usually. So, yeah. so just got my test results back. All right, ALT. Yeah. Now the range you want to be is zero to fifty-five. Anything below fifty-five, you're, you're okay. good. You're okay. I'll give you a number. You tell me if it's higher or lower than it. Okay. Yeah. Thirty. Higher. 33. Ooh. <laughs> I'm good. But I did expect you to be normal. I did expect yeah. it because you, you're doing better. Because I am doing better yeah. and I'm working out like crazy. Yeah. And by the way. And you're not drinking. I, yeah. Oh, I'm not drinking, but that's one of them. But you know, I haven't drank out of this year. I've probably not drank about 150 days. Yeah. But when you were on the road, it was not good. But that, I was only on the road for like fucking 70 days. Okay. Yeah, so like it's been it's been oddly enough I didn't drink all of quarantine. You have to be careful. You you can you can you can cross a line with your liver. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what that's what he said. He goes yeah. he goes just because you can bring it back down every now and then doesn't mean it's going to always happen. Right. He you, was like he was like you got to make this a lifestyle. I've actually made it. Well, I'm, I don't know. I haven't made it a lifestyle yet because I haven't partied yet. So like I I got to wait till I party and then come back because that that's where the, the I wish there was like a fucking alcoholics. Not Alcoholics Anonymous. Moderate moderation. No, that's not work. I heard that lady fucking ran her car into a tree. She did. Yeah. Um, Thank you. I wish there was an Alcoholics, we'll figure it out. You know, like, I'll be the. Well, you could go. Listen, there is such a thing. You could just show up and go. No one's going to want me at an AA meeting being like, uh, hey guys, I'm back. Man, that tour was a fucking blast. I gained some weight, but time to slim down. Am I right, guys? (laughs) Well, people do go in and out a lot. I know. That's the, that, I, that's I, not desirable. You're right. I've been to a Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. There are fucking buzzkills. Like some of them. It's, I went to one and I was like, I just wanted to lose weight. And they and the guy before me goes, the guy's like, I'm with this guy. I think you know him. Um, he's like, he's a he's a wrangler. Yeah. He does like famous people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was my neighbor, and he was like, Yeah, we should go. And he's like, it doesn't mean anything. Just go. Just and if show you up. hear yeah. something yeah. that helps you, then it helps you. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And I was like, okay. So we get there, and they're going around, and everyone's saying, hey, my name's Dot, and whatever. And my name's uh, James Gandolfini. And no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. Be, I'm sure he went to one. And so um, he taps me, and he goes, hey, if you want, speak. And now you, he knows I love speaking, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to talk. And he's like, and he's like, you got to say, you know, my name's Bert. I'm an alcoholic. And I'm like, I do that on stage. Don't worry. I can figure it out. So and I actually have a bit about it. Mm-hmm. My name's Bert. Like I have a bit that I was gonna see if I run it by, see if it gets any. So he goes, "All right, go." And I go to stand up, and the guy goes, "Um." The guy next to me goes, "Um, excuse me, I'm gonna go real quick. I've had a rough day." And I went, "Oh, okay." And the guy next to me stands up, and he goes, "Hi, uh, my name's Blank. I'm a, I'm a or whatever. I'm an alcoholic. 
whew, I have had a bad day. I just want to drink. This morning, I woke up, and I sucked my landlord's dick, and then I lit his car on fire. Oh. And I went, I can't follow that. I'm sitting there going, oh, I fucking should have talked before him. This guy just killed it. And then he just goes into detail about he's been sucking his landlord's dick, and everyone's on the edge of their seat going like, how did you party when you fucking, how did you act when you partied? This podcast is brought to you by Hymns. If you have not heard me talking about Hymns, then you're probably someone with a full head of hair that doesn't need to worry about it. Like the 66% of men who by the age 35 start losing their hair. That's the majority of us. I started losing my hair at that age and I got in front of it. Tom Segura did not. And his wife keeps saying to me, I swear to God, she says this, you still have hair. I took a video the other day and said, I still have hair. I can't believe it. I'm 48 and I still have hair. Do you know why? Because I did something about it and I didn't use snake oil pills or, or some gas station remedy. I had to go to a doctor, sit in an awkward, long waiting line. Well, that doesn't happen to happen to you anymore because Hims was created by a guy who knew that a lot of conversations men don't want to have in person. They'd rather do it online. Now you can go to for hims they connect you with for hims.com they connect you with a licensed medical professional online which would save you hours completely confidential and discreet all you got to do is answer a few quick questions and a medical professional will review it and they'll determine if it's right for you and prescribe you the medication to heat treat your hair loss that is shipped directly to your door today hims is giving you their best offer yet if you're not happy with your results after 90 days hims will give you a full refund and right now our listeners can get their first visit absolutely for free go to for hims.com slash bears. That's for hymns.com slash bears. Disclaimer, prescription product requires an online consultation with a hair care provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that is for hymns.com slash bears. Um, now, ALT scores. AST was, should be anywhere between one and uh, one and fifty five zero and fifty five. AST should be anywhere between five and thirty four. Now, my past reading, we said my high reading was a sixty three, but we're not worried till the thousands. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think I am? If the let's just say twenty five would be the medium range. Where do you think I am? Higher. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> what would you say if I said thirty two? I was thinking thirty four. <laughs> I was thirty four. Yeah. It is so... a 30. How did you fucking know? I just kind of know. You it's a 34. <laughs> you, I lied and you knew. I told Tom on the phone we were going to do this, and he goes, You got to lie to him. And I said, He's going to guess the right fucking number. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. I just know where you're at. You know, what, know. You, know, you know what? I've been trying to do healthy. <laughs> And I just fucking murdered pasta last night. I can't help it. I figure if I you got to cut the carbs, man. It's a carbs. The carbs it really the is. Carbs are a killer for certain people. For certain people, they really for me, I really the enemy. My dad has a yeah. fatty liver, and he oh, doesn't Jesus. really drink. He's a thin guy, but he doesn't. No, nah, well, he's been fat in his. Uh. Yeah. But he goes. I think it might be better now. But he goes. It's just carbs for him. Yeah. And and my th- and carbs. The apolipoprotein system can affect how the oxidized cholesterol is put into the arteries and things, and that's all insulin media. Or it's unaffected. Uh oh. All right, let's talk about now. Let's talk about blood sugar. cholesterol. Oh, blood sugar. Uh, oh, blood sugar. Where do, is that glucose? Yeah, you're 100. Oh my God. You should work at a fucking carnival. <laughs> so... You should work at a fucking carnival. It'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm 100 on glucose. <laughs> How the fuck? Hold on. Did you? You no. went through my scores. No, I did. He went through my. He can go into my scores, can't you? Nadav. He? Nadav. He we did. just came up with this on the ride over. I was talking I, to Tom. I yep. God damn it. Drew okay. does not have okay. access to your... To no. your I can't believe results. that. That is fucking good. I want to get Leanne's number. See if, so now... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know her stuff as well. As so yours. now we get... So I'm not going to find... I'm not going to find... You can find your cholesterol. It's not going to be in here, correct? It uh, is in... Let's just say lipid. Lipid panel. It's a lipid panel, yeah. Uh, an mm-hmm. onion gap. Mm-hmm. I got the one for uh, cancer, too. Which cancer? For anal, not anal cancer. Oh, PSA. PSA. I got You're that You're like a one or a two or something in there? I think below that. Point oh, seven or something. Good for you. Um, so this is going to be, your cholesterol is going to be like 220. It's not going to be that bad. Hold on. Let's get lipid panel. Yeah. My lipid panel. Okay. Triglycerides. Uh, 175. No. Oh. 52. Whoa. That's surprising. Why? What, what does that mean? That's lower. What's your HDL? Uh, okay. 60? 65? Hold on one second. Cholesterol. 203. Okay, it's that's I thought that'd be 220, so good. Uh it's been 220. Yeah, yeah. So so he actually put me on Lipitor. Oh, you're because, on Lipitor. Because he said No, oh, why don't you tell me that? Well, no, hold on. No, because no because it's been it's So been I'll up. get past results. It's always been up. 
it's always been 220. It's always been yeah, 220. Yeah, and your, and your LDL is probably 130, 140, something uh, like that. So. I'll tell you right now. My LDL is... Was. Three. Now it's fine. It's now, now three. It's, oh, mm. no, no. It's one, 148. That was the past. No, that's today. Your LDL is 148 on Lipitor? No, I haven't taken Lipitor yet. Oh, okay. I'm afraid well, to take it. That's why you're taking Lipitor. You yeah, take it. 148. And then my cholesterol is 203. My HDL is 45, which yeah. is high. No, no, no. It's, you want that to be higher. Oh really? Yeah. Usually, okay. you know, high HDL, low triglyceride is a good thing. Okay, so and I, you want my, that you want that LDL below 100. So ch at my fattest, at my fattest, when I was my fattest, my my cholesterol was 229. Yeah. My HDL was 47, hmm. and my LDL was 159. Yeah, that's like my numbers. My number, except I had triglycerides up too. So triglycerides um, are what there's something proteins in your heart or something? No, the circulating fatty acids, but they they're associated with trouble. Let's put it that way. Really? And the, the uh, raising the HDL, lowering the triglycerides are more important than we used to think. We used to be very focused on the LDL, which probably is important also. I, I take a half of Vitorin, just a little like a half, and it's boom, so, pegs my cholesterol. So I was told this is what I was told. And when I got rid of carbs, my HDL went up, my triglycerides went down. I've uh, never has my cholesterol been better than on a no carb diet. Yeah, my triglycerides are good. They've been bad in the past. Okay, one, well that makes sense. One the high when I didn't I say one seventy five. You ready for this one? Yeah. At, well, at my fattest, my triglycerides were two ninety six. Yeah. Okay, that's better. That's more what I would expect. That's the yeah. zone I would expect you to be in. Okay, but uh, with that's the fatty liver doing that. Is that mm. okay? And so now they're down. It's fifty two, but. So he put me on Lipitor because they've always my 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 cholesterol has always been around two twenty. Yeah, you gotta take some. And so, and, and yeah, we gotta he, keep that cal we gotta keep that calcium score zero. And That's then the goal. He said he said you know and by the way I I'm doing this so that you guys we should have told this at the beginning you guys should have your blood test scores sitting with us so we can all go through them together. <laughs> and so but I heard that if you're on statins which is yeah. Lipitor yeah. that it prevents strokes also. Yeah. And I'm on Lipitor. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'll take Lipitor even if I don't need it. Yeah. Right? Be, be, yeah. I, I, um, I, I'm very sensitive to this stuff, and I got lots of side effects, and I had to find Okay, a... so I was afraid... I don't know the right way to say this. Okay. But you're, I you're was... Good, I was Erectile dysfunction? You're I was about? exposed. I was exposed to someone who was exposed to someone with coronavirus. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, seven days ago now. Okay. But I got tested four days, five days. You're good. Days. You're good. Yeah. And so I got tested, tested. And I, that's right when I got my Lipitor. And I, because of my brain, mm -hmm. I was afraid to take Lipitor because mm -hmm. I was afraid that it would affect your my immune brain, system. No, my or brain something? would, my brain would take over and I could work myself into being sick. Oh, I see. Okay. And so I was All like, right. you know what? I'm going to wait until I'm out of the woods. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, um, but my, but I'm, I got the Lipitor. Now they say you're supposed to take Lipitor at night. Yeah. But uh, you might, how much, what milligram is it? Fuck, 10. Yeah. Okay. That's a low dose. Good. Yeah. Good. 10. So I'll be on three sets of pills. I want to get off all pills, but not really, kind of. You're on blood pressure pills too? Yeah. And you know what I just found out? You should take your blood pressure before you take your pills. Mm, you, so. should, you should have a range, you have multiple readings. That information was given to me by the same guy that told me Tom would have a gimp hand. <laughs> Dude, I t I leaned so heavy on this guy that was just cleaning up. What the hell, dude? I just he just was he was talkative and no one was talking. He wasn't that a day. black woman. What, what's no, going he was on? no, he was a Mexican dude. Uh. And so he was just like, dude, the funniest thing. I, I I think we talked about this, but there was a woman who just spoke Spanish and she was in a lot of pain. She was like two cabins next to us or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Tom's getting X-rays, and I'm trying to hear what she's ha and she's screaming and crying oh. like the most pain mm. and i'm like what the fuck and the, and this white woman's going we're calling we're calling the the city's going to know about this oh. this is illegal and she's losing her the nurse is losing her shit and i'm like i got to see what's going on right uh -oh, uh -oh. like and i was like this should be a game show <laughs> like we're you hear what's going on in the room next oh to you and then they're speaking in a different language yeah. and you got to try to translate yeah. and then tom just comes back who speaks spanish and he sits and he goes, whoa, someone was attacked by a dog. And I was like, what? And he's oh. like, a lot of dogs. They're cleaning our wounds out. And I'm like, oh. fuck, that's oh. what's happening? Oh. Anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, so now to get to here, this is where my brain is. So I get my triglycerides. I get my CT scan. I get all my blood work. And I go from tragedy strikes like that to I'm actually going to live forever. I'm superhuman. And nothing touches this guy. Neither are true. 
I actually think my dad goes, oh, fuck, you got your grandma, my nana. He goes, you got your nana's genes. I said, what? Indestructible. Indestructible. The woman's 101. Yeah. And he goes, your mom's got them. My mom, you can't kill that woman. Yeah. Like she is. Well, she, you've certainly been trying. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You've been I mean, trying. can you imagine and... if I had never done anything? I would be probably like a movie star, probably. Yes. <laughs> I'd be in perfect shape. I'd be in perfect shape. Right. And I would just be like, like Rogan would look up to me and be like, yes. God damn it, man. Yeah. David Goggins, Cam Haynes would be like, you really are the machine. <laughs> I would have never been the machine though. Yeah. So like what? Right. Like, if you juxtapose who we know Bert to be now, yeah. which is so fucking awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like if you look at me on paper, if you look at me on paper, probably top 10 most interesting people in the world. In my life. Top 10 in my life. Let's be I, real. Tom Segura is a very interesting person. I fucking shadow that guy. <laughs> like, he is nothing. Like, is it, like, oh, I moved around when I was a kid. Oh, really? Did you? <laughs> oh, I went to a lot of different high schools. I had to make a lot of good different friends. I mean, like, the things that Tom thinks make him interesting. Yeah. Oh, my mom's Peruvian. My dad was uh, no, no. He, in he, the he, military. He's not interesting. The in, way I am. The way you are. That's right. I'm like, uh, and then I in, start in going. In the way you are. You, so in a weird well, way. Well, in a weird way, there's nobody interesting in the way you are. That's really true. Mm -hmm. Now, it also is the way I shade my tails. Like, I like to, I like to, like, I'm not going to, like, my. <laughs> you, you rely on your, you play on your strengths. I play on my strengths. Yeah. Like, I'm a great yeah, storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you didn't so, know that. I, what? I, I knew, I found that out when I was in ninth grade. Oh, in I, ninth thought, grade, I thought I discovered that. Oh, no. Hold on. You discovered the machine. Right, if it right, wasn't right. for you, it really, right. honestly, <laughs> right. if it was not for you, I pro if it wasn't for you and the fact that I respected you and I, you said, this is your movie. This is your story. Yeah. Like, this is there's something here. There's yeah. something here. Like yeah. this, I, I don't bring people back to tell the same story. <laughs> and I went, oh yeah, I wouldn't be here. I, I really wouldn't be here because I never would have. I never would have told that story if that person hadn't called in. I would have never told that story. Wow, crazy. I would have never told that story. I was. I. I would love to hear the audio. I'm sure it's out there of me. We have this guy named Giovanni that collects all the Loveland classic stuff. I'm sure he's got it. I would love to hear the audio of me. Of the person calling in yeah. and saying, can you type in the machine love line? But I bet it would be the second show that I told it that, that mm, someone would have grabbed it. Yeah. But someone going, hey, man. And probably both are out there. But but if, maybe, what if we could actually track down that caller? I would love to. Like, who is the guy? How will we, how will we confirm it? But l let me, you were building to something with your labs, you said. You wanted to build to some point by telling me your labs, having me guess your labs. Uh, we're here. Okay. okay. Is that I'm going to live forever. And then okay. Tom's probably going to die young. And- there's nothing we can do about that. When you look at like how soft his body is, right? <laughs> like when and, and and what was happening is I was watching this one moment where he got hurt in an instant, and I went, "Of course, that's what happens to guys like Tom." You know, like I've been fucking just trying to destroy myself for but, years, but and I'm still here. You're you're right. I mean, bears... what would have happened to Tom if he had been living my lifestyle, right? Like partying every night. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like Belushi. He'd be dead in a fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everyone can take that. It's interesting. I look at Ron White kind of as like my as like my um as like my my Zeus, right? Yeah. Because he, first of all, he doesn't have any anxiety. So the guy smokes and drinks, smokes weed, drinks tequila. He'll drink a tequila in the middle of the day, and I go, "That's impressive." Yeah. Like I've actually built my my. You wish you could be like him. I look at them, Ernest Hemingway. Mm. Now, granted, he killed. I think he killed himself, right? Yeah. We died of alcoholism. Let's be fair. Yeah. Frank. Ernest Hemingway. Um, uh, I wrote them down the other day. John Daly. John Daly's a fucking impressive individual. Mickey Mantle. You, these are all like, I wrote them down the other day. My, did I give you my list of people that are my heroes, Nadav? No. Okay, Winston Churchill. This motherfucker would wake up. He'd have eggs, bacon, toast, a little jam, a little butter, uh, some seltzer water, some fruit juice, and a scotch, Drew. First thing of the day. And a, and he'd and a eat cigar. It, and a cigar. First thing in the morning, <laughs> Drew. First thing in the fucking morning. Yeah. He'd have a scotch and a cigar. I watched that sober. Sober. Uh, like, I'm not drinking this month. Sober, I watched that. And all I thought to myself was, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that one day. One day on January well, 24th, on Winston Churchill, the day he died, 
I'm going to celebrate life the way he lived his life. Oh, just one day a week. Just one day a week. Just right. one, one day, day a year. Out of the year. Yeah, yeah. One day, okay. One day, I, I, I sign off on that. Week. If you're not trying to be sober, I sign off on that. Like, how great yeah. would it be to have a cigar in your bed? Yeah. Like, I, no one has a cigar in their bed. Yeah. You're sleeping in an ashtray. Oh, that's gross. He had a cigar in his bed every morning. Uh. And then he would get in the bath, have his drink and his cigar, and dictate to his fucking young, just be like, all right, tell him. <laughs> I don't do a good Winston charge. All right, <laughs> right. Uh, tell, tell Hitler, there uh, we go. all have a tale. It's a good one. It's a good yeah, one. That's a good. That's a, I'm, yeah. I just watched. I'm obsessed with Winston Churchill. Did, did you, my favorite Churchill re- reproduction was the John Lithgow scene with, in the Queen, where he had, where he's getting dressed down by her. It just it was such a poignant scene. Anyway, no, wait. Have you seen the Queen? It. No, I haven't. Wait, is the what's Crown? The, the Crown. I beg your pardon. The Crown. The oh, Crown. The Crown's the, crown. the one the crown. where like Princess Diana's in it. That's the latest season, but the first season, it's all about <sighs> Churchill. I love it. You should watch the first three or four episodes. There's, the there's something about like, and I look, I, I think Lithgow does an amazing Churchill. Amazing. Here's the thing that I fucked up on is like, there's a part of me that jokes about everything. And then there's a part of me that re- I really do think, I really think left to my own devices. Had I never been in, um, in Rolling Stone magazine or anything, if I had just lived a life, I'd be someone who would be really fucking funny to be around? I think I'd be the guy. Like, what what in, would your job have been? Uh, probably like selling boats or, or like, Sal- salesman. Probably I would have been in sales, but something cool, something you enjoyed. Something, and I would have. I've been in the guy that like I, all my none of my friends like have jobs where they. Like, and you'd entertain every day after work. Entertained. Yeah. I'd be fucking larger than yeah. life. Yeah. I'd be fun as fuck. I'd have. I would have had married a bimbo. I would have had like seven kids. Did you? <laughs> Did you know this about yourself all along, or is this something you're now realizing? No, no, no. I I knew that I was. I knew that I what I wanted out of life. I wanted like, I wanted adv- adventure, but in my within my parameters of it. Yeah. Like I probably, I I was a different human being before I got into television. Television kind of fucked me up a little bit. Why? I didn't trust anybody. Um, I got I had some bad interactions, getting mauled by a bull and choked out. You're talking about the travel thing. Herbert was was yeah. FX, and that kind of fucking made me scared, like really scared for the first time in my life about life, about dying. Because I got mauled by a bull, I almost got attacked by a shark. Like all that stuff kind of fucked me up a little bit. So they put you in bad situations, really bad situations. This is why I never trusted, and so all my times at Travel Channel, I never trusted. But reasonably um, so, sounds like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have like PTSD from that shit. Yeah. And I know it sounds silly, but like I can't sit in a roller coaster because I start freaking the fuck out. That was never who I was. What happened? A roller coaster. I got stuck in one for like forty-five minutes. They did that Magic, on purpose, too. No, at Magic Mountain. Do you know the one where you stand in it and then the floor disappears and they pull your yes, body? So the, it's uh, parallel. It's like the Superman or something or oh, a ninja, thing. ninja. We fucking do that thing, yeah. and then we're out on the waiting, waiting, waiting. And yeah. I'm like, oh, it seems like we're here for a while, right? I'm strapped in. I have cameras on me. Well, and, and, it's, and you're in like a cellophane, yeah. right? They got this weird thing you're lying on. And I'm, and then they pull us into the thing. The floor kind of half comes up. Then it comes up, and they're like, all right, guys, everyone relax. We're going to be here for a while, and I start having panic. Uh, like, but you're not like, you're not up, upside down or something. Oh, no. we're Yeah, we're stating, fa- staring at the ground. Uh. We're flying still like Superman. <laughs> And I go, um, how I'm I'm working at the time for Travel Channel. And I go, hey, can I can I talk to the lady in charge? She comes over, very sweet lesbian woman. Um, comes over, big bigger woman, and she goes, uh, we, we're 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 gonna be fine. We're gonna get you out of here. And I said, how long are we looking? She goes, I just called the operator. He's on his way. I went, okay. Now I'm familiar with the park. I go, uh, what what ride is he at? She goes, he's not at a ride. He's at his house. <laughs> and I said, where's his house? Where's his house? And she goes. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Um, he lives in Ontario, and I'm oh, like, oh my god, geez. it's four o'clock. It's four o'clock, and I'm like, oh my god. She goes, he's coming out, and it's gonna be. And I go, can you just get me out real quick? And she goes, no. And I said, listen, I'm freaking out, and I, I'm I'm afraid I'm and she, this poor this woman. I if I she ever hears this knows this very well. She sat crisscross applesauce underneath me and held my hand oh. the whole fucking time. Wow, the whole time. And I was like, I really appreciate that. She goes, calm down. You're the safest. And she just walked me through all the things. Uh, If there's an earthquake, the only ones that are safe right now are you. You are built into a structure Uh, that is. And starts going through all the things that make me safe. And I was like, okay. She goes, hey, if this gets really bad, I have a knife. I can start cutting out the webbings. I'll get you out of here. But let's save this. Let's say and like this woman fucking is like, where's that? If it was my wife, my wife would be sitting there. Man, man, you're fucked. <laughs> this is gonna be really bad or, for a or long she fucking been, time. Or she would have been saying, just shut up, Bert. Yeah. So 
So what can't you tell your therapist and why? Um, there's a lot I hide from him because we do it on Skype. Yeah. And I'm afraid that people will log into my Skype and then just air my therapies. Yeah. So so why don't you, and this is a new thing, Skype No, therapy? I've always lied to him. <laughs> okay. And so what, what? I don't lie bad ways, but I just lie. I like, I don't lie, lie. But you said like, there are things you There's can't. certain things I can't talk about. Why? There's certain things like, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give you a perfect example that I can share because I know I'm in a safe place. And I know it. I, okay. So, so I signed this deal one time and I only told, uh, I only told Tom and push were the only people I told. And, and now granted the industry talks, right? But I told Tom and push, I told him exactly how much money I signed it for and I didn't tell anyone else. And, and then all of a sudden, uh, Tom's agents all knew about my deal. Now, granted, this deal was, an, it was I had an all, I had three different offers from three different companies, and I chose one. So there were three different companies bidding on this deal, and I chose one company. So all the people know that I signed some. Like, so it's not a secret, but everyone's saying it's a secret. And so I tell Tom, and then and then my agent's managers was like, your boy Tom told everyone. And I was like, no, he didn't. And I, I, and I wanted to work through that in my head. Now I can talk about it now because I know he, I really know he didn't. I wanted to work through that in therapy, but I couldn't. I couldn't because I was afraid that if I talked about this in therapy, someone would steal this footage. Yeah, you got to get you got to get out of the Zoom thing. You got to yeah, go in person. And so and so you I, I just this. kept it inside okay, me. Right, and right. then and then and then Leanne goes, "Hey, you should talk to Tom about this." I go, "I can't." And she goes, "Why?" I said. I'm pot committed. I do this in life. What I'm, I'm pot committed. Pot committed. Pot committed is a gambling term. It means when uh, you have more chips oh, yeah. in there that are worth than are worth you getting out of it. Because if you lose, you're already out of the game anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might as well put all your chips in. Yeah, I'm pot yeah, committed. Yeah. And I'm with I'm pot committed with Tom. Yeah. If Tom is a lying snake in the grass, it's cool, man. He's my best friend. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Like I've already committed to this guy. Like I love him too much. If he's I just gotta love him and go, then that's my friend. Yeah. Because I because and 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 I ended up talking to him about it, and he was like, "You told me not to tell anyone." Tom's someone you can tell a secret. See, if he had told me, I probably would have told everyone. Yeah, yeah. Like, because that's who I am. Yeah. But he knows who I am, so he never tells me secrets. Right, of course. You know, so like, I'm pretty good. Like Ari one time told me about. Oh no, like I said Ari told me a. <laughs> don't don't. Ari don't, told me don't, a secret you, one time. Don't, don't. Ari told me a secret one time, and I didn't realize. I mean, I just. It was crazy. He told me a secret. In a car driving to Joe's podcast. I'm not even joking. 10 minutes after he told me the secret, I told the other two guys in front of Ari. Like I just, and he goes, I just told you that was a secret. And I was like, Oh, no one was supposed to know. And he goes, that's how a secret <laughs> fucking works. I go, yeah, but they should know. And he goes, no, I didn't want to tell them. And then Joe's like, why would you do that? And Ari's like, I didn't want to deal with this right now. And I was like, Oh, I'm really sorry. And he goes, I will never tell you another secret. He Ari one time wanted to go on a hike. And he goes, I have two good hikes. One's like a secret path, and I go, oh, tell me that one. And he goes, I'm afraid you're going to tell everyone the secret path. And I go, no, I won't tell anyone. And he goes, you won't, not even your wife? I go, well, I'd definitely tell her. And he goes, that's what a secret means. You can't tell her. And I go, oh, bro, I'm going to tell, like, my friends. And he goes, no, I would tell you, and you could never. And I go, so then I would only get to hike this path by myself? And he goes, I only hike it by myself because I don't want people to know about it. And I was going to share it with you, hoping you wouldn't tell anyone. And I was like, oh, I'm going to tell everyone. Don't tell me about this path. Yeah. You, you, you're, what's in your head comes out your mouth. Yeah. I'm yeah, an open no. book and it's bad no, news. No, no. You should, you're not somebody that should take a seat. Probably not healthy that I just share all my uh, my blood scores with the world. No, it's all right. It's yeah, it's you. fine, right? I just, here's my thing about health is I know that preemptive medicine, what is it called? Preventative. Preventative medicine is the best way to live your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, like, and, if you and had, you're in, indestructible. If I hadn't what? If you, like, I always think about you going, you said, uh, it's the words, sometimes beautiful words catch me. Uh. They caught my cancer on the way to Mecca. And I went, huh? It's just the way you said it. And you said, I had, by the way, did you tell me this is a secret? Have you talked about this? Go ahead, whatever. I, anything about my cancer is open. I fucking, <laughs> see, this is what's wrong with me. I just, Someone will tell me a secret and I'll remember it so good and yeah. then I'll want to share it because it's a beautiful way to say things. Yeah, yeah. But you said that you got, they caught your cancer on its way to Mecca. And I went, what do you mean? You go, man, if they hadn't caught that, I am gone. And I went, really? And you're like, yeah, thank God. And all I think is that thank God comes after, for me, 
all the anxiety of having to go to the doctor. Yeah. All yeah. the anxiety of being like, I don't want to go to the doctor. I don't want to go do this. I don't even want to know. I'd rather not even know. And then, and I just think of that. I think of those, that, that old black lady saying, it's better you walk through those and you go and they caught her on the, on its way to Mecca. Did you say that? Or did I make that up? I, I, I might've said something like that. What do you think you said? Cause I, I remember on its way to Mecca. And I, I went, that, I, I, that does not sound like me. It doesn't but, sound but, like you. But, but the, but I, but the idea is that the, that the tumor was on its way to escaping and that's yeah. not good. Oof. That's not good. So it's, it's all good to, to get it out early. I got to get a call on the moss. Yeah. I just had one Wednesday. I went last week. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I talked to you got to do. You've never I'm had really one. Really bad. Have you never had? One? I have had two friends okay. get one. Have you never one, had one? I've never had one. I, don't, I get them every year. I oh yeah. Every year it's a pain. Ugh. They say you're not supposed to get them until fifty. Tom goes. They lowered that to thirty five. I was like, well, it, it it wouldn't be a bad idea. I I started mine earlier. Yeah. I asked one of my friends. I asked Tom. I got one. I hope he shared this. I'm sharing everyone's secrets. Tom got a colonoscopy, and he he said, uh, I go. So do they put you under for that? I didn't realize that they're going up your ass with something. And he's like, you <laughs> what, think what you're you th awake for that? What, Just, you ah! what, did you ah! what did you think it was? I don't know what it was. I, didn't, I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. Well, they, they can go this way or this way or both. You probably right. get both. I but, want it. But you, I just, this, this may have to get cut out. Speaking of secrets, are you good with Ari now? Yeah. Things are cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. I, although, I'll say this. I, I've really forgiven him for drugging me. I really have forgiven him. Um, my wife has not. I can't share things, which really bums me out. I can't share things that I, where I talk to Ari about things. But he really is a good. He, I, I mean this in the best way. He is a very broken dude in that in that the way he sees the world is through Ari's lens. Mm. Like he's not. You can explain other ways to see the world, but certain things don't make sense to him, and they never will. He's been a bachelor for so long mm. that the only person he needs to make sure is taken care of every day is himself. Yeah. Himself and his dog, maybe his chick, but I think really him. Yeah. I, and, and, and and I don't mean that in a bad way. That's just how his brain works. It's fun to talk to that brain because my brain is take care of everyone else first and then take care of myself. Not totally, but it's fun. But when you have a disagreement with Ari, I can't share it with my wife because she doesn't like him. Mm. So she just goes, yeah, why are we talking about this human? W women a generally have more trouble uh, letting go of things. Oh, they do. They, they once they get a resentment, it's on. Oh, and especially men, with him. Yeah, and men, no, no, all women are that way. Well, really? a lot of women are that way, and and men are no, much no, do broad strokes. Yeah, all women can't drive either. Keep going. <laughs> I love, I love broad strokes. I love broad strokes. I wish you could just say that, like all Japanese people eat humans. Like, <laughs> yeah, that is from a book I read, and that's why you shouldn't read books. Here's another question: If you were going to eat a human, like the Japanese, 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 I don't know. Jap I don't know what you're talking Jap about. Jap Japan, Japanese, Japanese, all right. Is it Japanese? Yeah, Japanese people from Japan. Yeah, Japanese. In World War Two, oh, they ate tons of humans to, right? to, to survive. To survive. Oh. Now, the, and I'm reading this book called The Fly Boys. If you have any questions about these, and you're going, Bert, this is racist. You just got to read a book, okay? And that's why I say you shouldn't read books. Uh. Um, but they ate humans a lot, mm. like, uh, and like it was a, it was an issue. Um, the the colonels would eat the livers, and they would go, Hey, we're gonna go execute that prisoner but when you do ha send a doctor i want his, them to pull out his liver oh and then God. we want to eat his liver and then they would eat his liver because i thought it helped them get stronger or whatever Ugh. but here's the fucked up one and this is from a doctor's point of view because yeah. i've been really into into um processing videos of dudes processing cows and elks yeah shout out to the beer butcher um so these the japanese soldiers i say people it's not people it's japanese soldiers yeah. so it's japanese soldiers from world war ii because they didn't want the meat to go bad, they would cut off an arm, hmm. and then they'd eat that arm, and they'd let that human stay alive, our POW. Ugh. And then they would come get him and then get the other arm. Oh, my God. Because they didn't want the meat to go bad. Yeah, I understand. But here's what I was thinking. After watching them process a bunch of Ugh. cows, what would be the best part of a human to eat? Uh, legs and arms, yeah. Legs. But, like, yeah. but like I, you, you know, like a cow's got, like, Flat iron steaks and and flank steaks, ribs and, and things, and yeah. ribs. Like the ribs seem to be mm. good. Would our ribs be good? Or is I suppose. I, so I don't know. I've never thought about. But this. But you've seen inside a human, right? I have. But you're you're taking me to a very strange place. I've never visited. Like you've never operated on a human and then said oh, that looks tasty. No, I've not done that. I've, I've never had that thought till this moment, which is kind of fun. Thank you for giving me a new sort of uh, challenge. Just next time you're with a Japanese doctor and he's cutting up a human, and go, hey man, if this was 1942. <laughs> 
<laughs> be a different story. Did they do it to survive? Like they were out of no. The the colonels did it. And by the way, once again, this is why you shouldn't read. I didn't. I'm not a good reader, so I don't know if I'm reading all this properly. But the colonels were eating livers. The the it, the man. World War Two was such a fucking shit show for yeah, the yeah. Japanese. Yeah. They had this guy Toto, I think was his name, uh-huh. who was who was the prime minister who took charge of everything because the fucking emperor wasn't doing shit because yeah. he was a kid, I think. And he took charge of everything and would just send soldiers to Guam or send soldiers to a place. Midway, send soldiers to Saipei and just go, yeah, I didn't, I'm not sending any food. Ooh. And these guys got there and they're like, oh, I guess we'll eat our shoes. Uh. And he's like, or each other. And so they would eat each other. Uh. They would eat POWs. They would... It was, they were just trying to survive. I'm not shitting on these these guys. But what's crazy is some of them were from America. They were from America. And they had gone back to Japan. Like one dude was from Hawaii. He went back to Japan. And then he was like the only one that spoke English. And he's talking to these guys. Two American guys. One kid's from San Francisco. One kid's from Hawaii. One kid's from Pittsburgh. The one from Pittsburgh, POW. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty fucked up here. He's like, they're just going to take you on a walk, man. It's cool. Oh. I want you to see the sunset. And uh. then they fucking stab him with bayonets and eat his liver. Now... <laughs> Where are we? And how did we way, get here, Bert? I have does your, no, does your I, brain do this during the day? It only when I sit I, in this chair. And I, by the way, so now the last I, and, thing, I, and I'm wondering also how you stay off TikTok and YouTube with the, your I brain can't the way get it on is. Tic, if TikTok, I'm there for an hour. I yeah. watched this dude that just got out of prison yesterday. The is your day. brain the way it is? I I would imagine that kind of stuff that the world that the Facebook and everybody creates to uh, addict you. Just forget it. You're just you're lost. It's bad news. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I want to do. Right. Last thing I want to do before right. we leave. All right. I got a hilarious text yesterday. Okay. Okay. I want to share the text with you. And then and then I would like to call the guy. Okay. And I want to find the backstory. And I think you're going to hear the text and go, I definitely want to know the backstory too. Okay. So yesterday at 930 in the morning. Is this morning, somebody you know? Don't know this guy. How do you get your number? No idea. Woo. Okay. 930 in That's the morning. That's scary already. I get a text. Guess who, you saucy little biscuit man. Oh. Right? right, and so I'm like, okay, there's someone from college, yeah. And so I write back. I checked. I checked the area code. Seven zero three is the area code. It's Northern Virginia. So I go, hmm, who do I know in Northern Virginia? And I, I go, I don't know, Dave Matthews, right? Because I knew he grew up in Virginia. <laughs> and the guy goes, LOL, bro. I'll make it easy. Ahoy, setting sail for Port Mayonnaise. Petty Officer Pudding Time is out for Oreos. <laughs> what? And then I get a text. Uh-oh. Oh my God, please disregard all of this. I just found out I'm texting the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry to have bothered you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and please take care. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, I want to know who petting off, Petty Officer Pudding Time is. And he's and <laughs> setting sail to Port Mayonnaise. <laughs> like it was just like such, it was such a fucking hilarious text that I wrote back. Ha ha ha. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> And then I wrote, I wrote, Burt Kreischer, meaning I'm Burt Kreischer. And he went, ha ha, Burt Kreischer. I'm definitely not him, though that would be pretty dang nifty. Oh. My name's uh, Brandon. Fuck it. Bleep it if you need to. My name's Brandon. And I thought I was texting an old college buddy that I drove cross country with when we moved to LA like 15 years ago. Haven't oh. talked to him in a hot minute. Just realized I entered the wrong number when I got my old phone. I'm so sorry. And I, oh. went, I wrote, ha ha ha. No, this is Burt Kreischer. And he goes, no way. And I went... <laughs> It is. And he goes, if this is serious, I'm actually a huge fan of yours and I love your stuff, but this is easily the weirdest, coolest, wrong number I've ever gotten. And I go, I posted it to my Instagram. He goes, oh my God, this is wild. So I wanted to call him and find, I know Nadav. I got you, buddy. Now we're going to call him. Okay. I should FaceTime him, huh? Because that why? way he knows it's me. Uh, no. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why not? Gleese, what? Nadav's like giving a voice a call? Rrr. Yeah. Let's do a voice call. Okay. Nadav's giving the Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is this Brandon. Is good. He's got to save my number as in Burt Kreischer, right? Uh-huh. He's probably got a job. Oh, he's probably staying home. He's in North Virginia. Come on, Brandon. Three hours later. Hello? Brandon. Yes. Hey, it's Burt Kreischer. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, uh, <laughs> listen, I'm on a podcast, and I wanted to talk to you. Uh, are you <laughs> is it okay if we record you for a podcast? Absolutely. Okay. Hey, Brandon, I'm super curious uh, about the text I got from you yesterday. And I want to know maybe just a little bit of backstory about where Port Mayonnaise is <laughs> and who Petty Officer Pudding Time is. And what does it mean when he goes out for Oreos? Well, 
that's a pretty loaded question right there. Um, <laughs> Are you Officer Pudding Time? I mean, I've been Petty Officer Pudding Time, <laughs> but I'm not always Petty Officer Pudding Time. It, it, it depends. So how does one become Petty Officer Pudding Time? Is, like, is that like catcher and pitcher? Uh, no, no, it's not, it's not been sexual. That's the thing. It's it's more of like a it's like a state of mind, I guess. Oh, oh, petty officer oh. pudding time. So, because I would really it's very love poetic. To, I would love to incorporate this into our show, Two Bears One Cave, <laughs> and find out what I need. How do I get into petty officer pudding time? Uh. And like, and is out for Oreos code for anything, or is I'm just like I'm out for Oreos, bro? <laughs> well, Oreos is it's another word for squirrel treats, which is another word for. I mean, I don't know. It's no, 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 no. Just don't you stop are, there. You are, you are putting <laughs> a new vernacular into my brain because I'm all about squirrel treats and I don't even know what they are. What are they? Yeah, they sound good, don't they? They sound fucking awesome. I want squirrel treats. <laughs> Aren't they like like toffee, sugary? Kind no, of no. I think thing? squirrel treats are beers, really. Oh. What are squirrel treats? Oh, it could be beers. It could be the toffee, whatever, sugar. Who's that in the background? Is that Tom? No, that's Dr. Drew. Oh. Hey, Dr. Drew. Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> you kept, hey, like, hey, I'm hey, sitting at home. Hey, Dr. Hey, Drew. Hey, Captain Pudding Time. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, it's not so much sugar as it's more, yeah, as you're thinking more of the. Uh, I want to know how uh, Brandon's going to explain this phone call to his friends. Uh, None of his friends are going to believe him. Something to change your state of mind, I guess. Something to uh, change your state of mind okay. are squirrel treats All or right. Oreos. I wouldn't mind Got some it. Oreos or squirrel treats. Got it. And you're like, yo. So port mayonnaise, what's port mayonnaise? Is that like... Uh, it's like, hey man, port mayonnaise is where you go get all the squirrel treats and, and Oreos? <laughs> yeah, port mayonnaise is where you've pretty much gone when you've collected enough squirrel treats. And then that's, uh. where, you're, that's where you're at. You stay there until, you're, until you need more squirrel treats. And so this is go. some sort of... This is some sort of acid trip. This is yeah, awesome. Yeah. So now, are there other are there other officers on this boat? <laughs> oh yeah. For, for, oh okay. So you got petty officer pudding time. So petty officer pudding time is as far as we've ever gotten. This is uh, this this got started back in college, okay. where, and this is going to show my age right here. But I saw something, something regarding this on one of my friends' away messages for a long time. I think it was he took it from like. I want to say Tucker Max or something like this. It's like back 2003, 2004. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like Tucker. And uh, it, uh, it kind of went from there. And it, it turned into this, yeah, what I'm talking about now. And it's just been, you know, uh, state of mind now. Well, now we've just we've I elevated really the... I uh, really love it. We've elevated the awareness of all this now. Well, this is achieving new status. I'll tell you right now, my boat's been docked because <laughs> Port Mayonnaise has been shut down for me. My buddy, Petty Officer Pudding Time, <laughs> <laughs> broke his arm and his leg and has been getting squirrel treats out the ass yeah. and got addicted to squirrel treats. Now he's detoxing uh, off of Oreos. Uh, but on he's... January 1st, on, on December 31st, Petty Officer Pudding Time is setting Port Setting off for Port Mayonnaise, and we are getting Oreos. I can promise you that. Thank goodness. Yep, and if you go, and I'll tell you what, Brandon, I'm going to send you a, a link for ymhstudios.com backslash live stream, and you can watch Forward our live livestream. show on on New Year's Eve if you want to. I would love to. I'm a, Honestly, I'm a big fan of y'all. So I, uh, I watch... Uh, Two Bears, One Cave, religiously. Saw The Cabin, seen your stand-ups. Yeah. Fuck, yes. Tom, Bill Burr, yeah. Big well, fans. Well, hey, man, you have introduced a new way of speaking to me. <laughs> I will be talking like this for the next fucking six months. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> it, and I and it, this is the best wrong text message I've ever gotten in my life. Dude, you have no idea. This blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, stay safe. Have a have a Merry Christmas, and uh, and uh, and I'll talk to you later, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you too, bro. New Year's Eve. All right, buddy. Bye. Captain Pudding Time. Corporal Pudding Time. Fucking. That's so funny. Oh, that is. I I love. That was the greatest. <laughs> you want to? Can I tell? You, I'm going to wrap it up. Can I tell you the other best wrong phone call I've ever gotten? Yeah. Guy tech. Guy calls me and he goes, 
hello? I, he calls, and I go, hello? And he goes, Steve. And I go, no. <laughs> and he goes, Steve. I go, no. He goes, hello? And I said, hello. And he goes, is anyone there? And he hangs up. I'm on Franklin, taking left onto La Brea. Okay. I'm at the light, and he calls back again. I go, hello. And he goes, Steve. And I go, no. And he goes, Steve. I go, hello. And he goes, is anyone there? And I said, no. And he goes, hello. And he hangs up again. Weird. So he calls again, and I go, hello. And he goes, Steve. And I go, no, this is not Steve. And he goes, hello. I go, listen, fucking asshole. <laughs> and he goes, hey, you don't have to call me an asshole. I go, you were fucking listening to me? And he goes, yeah, man. And you don't have to talk like that. And he hangs up on me. So I call him back. And he goes, hello. I go, fuck you. And I hang up, right? <laughs> he calls me back. I go, hello. And he goes, fuck you. And I hang up. I go, you know what? I'm going to win at this. I go to the improv that night. I go, hey, guys, I got a wrong call. I tell him the story. I go, here's his phone number. At any time during the day, uh -oh. I want you to call him uh -oh. and just go, fuck you. Oh, no. I want this guy to get it from every fucking end, uh -oh. right? So I forget that he has my number. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh. So the next day, I get a phone call, and he uh -oh. goes, listen, motherfucker. Uh -huh. I will put your number everywhere. You put my number out to all these. I got people calling me, fuck you, in the middle of the goddamn <laughs> fucking night. I have a new baby. Fuck you. I will find you. And I'm like, oh, God. Block number, block uh -huh. number. I backfired. Not good. No, not good. He's probably still looking for you. I wish I still had his number. What do we call him now? I'd call him right fucking. I feel I feel bad. You you some young dad is out there trying to sleep. Look what you did to him. I got you when there was a guy. There's a guy I got one number in here. Yeah. There's a guy who was sending me threatening texts. His, I told Nadav about this. And I got his number. And I have used his number for such evil. I uh I don't think I want to hear this about you. He's sending me threatening texts. Like the way he was talking to me was aggressive. Yeah. It was about Tom. I hope he's listening to this. And 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 this guy knew it was you? Yeah, he knew it was me. Okay. And I had talked to Mark Norman about this. I said, Revenge is a dish best served served cold. cold. Mm -hmm. So I was on the jog one day and I saw a car for sale. It was like a Lumina. It was a pretty cheap price. It was like a thousand bucks. I was like, eh. so I took a picture of it and I posted up flyers and I said, a thousand bucks or best offer. And then I put this guy's number oh. on the little things. Put it right by the Starbucks by my house. And then I started putting up little signs for free shit. I take pictures of shit I thought were cool, and I put this guy's number up. Dude, on the you signs. were brutal. I fuck this guy. You don't talk to me like that. You think I'm weak? I'll fucking show you weak. And then I called the FBI. I have a friend, my buddy. I have a friend who could help me figure out numbers, and uh, and I found out who it was. Somebody new? Mm-hmm. Oh, was someone I fucking did. no way. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and that's don't it. Fuck with the B man. That's the story. Yeah, yeah. And did he Comics, ever find out a, it was it's you? It's a burner account. Yeah, it was fucking. Yeah, the guy fucking. No, the guy never found out it was me. Never it's, found it was me. Um, well, maybe he knows now. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, well, Bert, this is really fun. Hey, I Drew, I got to be honest with you. I had a blast. I was. I, I did too. I was afraid I, you were going to be Leanne honesty. No, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I had a fucking blast. I I had a fucking blast. Me too. Um. I love that you're a part of our lives. I know Liam really, really loves that you're a part oh, of our lives, but I love kind. that you're a part of our lives. And I love that in times of uh, her, whatever the fucks we're going through with Tom and his fucking drug addict broken bones, <laughs> that that you're here to help us. Because yeah. that was, you definitely saved us that day because we were like, we were just a bunch of squirrel treats with our it, heads cut off. <laughs> you were heading towards Captain Pudding Time was setting sail for Port Kool-Aid. You were on your way to Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> there was, there was, Kool-Aid Bill. There was, <laughs> there was a lot of chaos going around. And my <laughs> petty, petty officer Vino. In fact, <laughs> fact, let's learn something from this. Next time somebody wants to sign out of the hospital, call me then. Oh, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the time to call me. Not yeah. not when you're thinking about putting him in a hotel 12 hours later. He's like, what? Hey, if, and if you well, find anyone that has what my side of partying is, where it's like, not necessarily rehab. By the way, shout out to John Mulaney. I hope he gets better. I, I, do was, too. I, don't, I didn't mean, I didn't I, mean I, to he, talk shit about and him. And by the way, looking at his profile, he must be a really like a bad, you know, alone kind of drinker. You know what I mean? I think you don't, he, I you think don't see him out. It's the reason I don't want to go to AA is because once you put it out that you went to AA, 
everyone has any judgment about you. It's and not so a I think, judgment. I think they're for, trying to help you. I think John just was like, I just want to party a little bit. And then, I don't know, fucking pandemic got to him. Uh, I mean, I pandemic gets like everyone. The, yeah. Oh, 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 it's not to your boy, man. though. I've been sober most of this goddamn pandemic. Yeah, this been, I've been touring. It's been, it's been good to you. Trans- yes, mm-hmm. Fucking. All Except right. Except for that tornado. Um, so, yeah. So, it's been great. I appreciate I love being here. I love being part of your guys' lives. And it's, it's really a privilege. So, uh, cool. I think back to where it all started, and it, it's so funny how it all I got involved here. It's so weird. It's literally because my it really it's is. literally because my wife booked Christina on a podcast I was doing with Bob Forrest back. In Your the wife's. Day. Ch- I don't get a blowjob without thinking about you, Thank Tom, you. your wife, Thank or you. Christina. Thank at you. At one point, that's wonderful. That I, I literally good. got a blowjob the other day, and I thought, I thought it is weird that Tom and I get the exact same blowjob now because mm-hmm. my wife taught Christina. How to give her a blowjob? But, but didn't my sick. wife up the game? But your wife is the reason they're all sucking dicks. Yeah, because right. Because your wife said, "Hey, you can do it," and then fuck me. You don't have to give them a, a solid blow. Like you. And now I just get a little bit of blowjob, and I'm like, <laughs> "Hats off to the Pinskys." <laughs> so glad they're in our life. Fucking right. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, thank you for doing right, this. Let's I do this you. again sometime. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. It doesn't have to and be. And bring what, the vaccine next time. Yeah, fuck. Doesn't, doesn't have to be Tom broken for me to come in. So. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Tommy. Yeah, man. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur photology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave.